today I will be going into Loughborough to see Samantha Bailey Gold. I've just got on the Skylink I have and I'm just about to leave. Oof. Don't be faffing about when it comes to meeting up with somebody, especially if you have to get on more than one bus to get to a certain location. I don't drive, you see. I'm always going to stick to my bus passes because... Um, Nah, it's too risky, too expensive to drive, it is for me. And it's, you know, it's too many idiots on the roads. So, yeah, I've got about 50 minutes to get into Loughborough from here. If you could look, I need to meet Samantha by um, half past 11. I apologise, you can't see that properly. And it's 20 to 11 now. Half past 11, I need to see her. And. I've got 50 minutes to get there, but I'm likely going to get there sooner than that. on my way now to see Samantha and her younger brother Jordan. If you've seen Jordan before, he's been on one of my previous videos nearly two years ago when it was another as an errand vlog it was. <sighs> Just gonna meet them up at the Sockman now, which isn't too far from here. Samantha and Jordan are just over there. Just where the main theatre building is. There they are. Samantha's got her sunglasses on too. I've got my shorts on. Hi. How are the two of you are doing? I've got something for you, Samantha. I've got something for you too. Yeah, let's trade. Thank you. So... There's another one as well. Oh yes, I nearly forgot. Is that from you, Jordan? It's from both of us, actually. Thank you, you two. You're welcome. Thank so, you, So, uh, I try my best. I can't believe you got me so much for yep. me, Samantha. Yep. I've only got you one bag. <laughs> it's fine. So, uh, what's new from either of you? Basically, you started this summer last week. What? Like on Friday you started this summer. Oh right, he's got his summer holidays. He's got his summer holidays up until um, the end, of end of August. Yeah. Like literally end of August. Yeah. I have a couple of weeks extra, like a few weeks extra actually. Yeah. And all of that. Yeah. yeah. You're going to really like what I got for you, especially your special present. Yeah. I've only made your special present last night because I've been so busy with other things yeah. like personal life and work and... Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I wrapped those when I wrapped my mum's. Oh, right, I see. <sighs> I might even struggle to carry that, yeah. all those three bags at once. Well, I carried the heavy one. Oh, right, yeah. I see. Oh, that's a bit better. Yeah, and I thought you, like, not giving anything away. No. But I thought you may want to use a couple of them to enhance your artwork. Oh, all right. Um, Something related to one of my hobbies and my yeah. drawing creativity. Yeah. And you, Jordan, what are your plans for the summer? Just be vlogging. Really. Oh, and, like, so looking after a friend, looking after our do the dog. Yep. Yeah. Had you actually started making a vlogging series of your own? Yeah. Right, so when are you going to put it on your YouTube channel? It's not. It's not allowed to. Oh, why not? not? Because I have to shame my mum. Yeah. Okay, that's fair, I suppose. Mm. So, you got yourself some brekkie at Greg's. It's actually a bit of an early lunch. Yeah, because it's uh, 23 minutes past 11. We've got there much sooner, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, but... Better than late than never, I suppose. Yeah, better. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think about getting? He needs batteries for his Xbox. Oh, yeah. Xbox controller. Yeah. 
Oh, it's like the Wii remote where they need to replace the batteries. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the Nintendo Wii? Yeah, yeah we, we have one. We, have, we one still have one. I have two. We, we don't use it as much yeah. as we used to. Yeah. We don't use it. No, not as much anymore. I'll pay back card for this. Yeah. I hate it's paying with card. Yeah. Why? A lot easier. Sorry. So I can just tap and there you go. But my mum can't do it. How come your mum can't do it? I don't know. Work. But it works on me when I use her card sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Yeah. Shall I get a new mask? I don't usually wear one, I have this instead. Yeah, some people have those lanyards because they might struggle to use a mask. Yeah, basically, I have, I get anxiety. Anxiety, over, yeah. Over wearing them. Yeah. And I, if I can find a way to get out of it, I'll get out of, out of it. Yeah, look at you, eh? And yeah. you have your, yeah, you told me you had your job, haven't you? Yeah, but I'd be having mine... End of August, begin of um, September time. Yeah. To get my second one. Yeah. Is that Kaif has already had his? Yeah. Has had his first, but his second is on the second of September. Yeah. Do you think he's actually the doom and gloom and grey and rain one? You know, the one he's always. Mm. What do you think? He's, he's calmed down now since, obviously, last year and stuff. Yeah. Like, last year. Because I've had the pleasure of working with him and all of that. I just want to let you know, people, that Samantha and Jordan has gone back to their house now because Jordan's feeling tired. They had to go sooner than later, which I didn't really expect. But I respect that. At least you get to see them again. Well, since I got, well, well, my presents from Samantha and I am in Lupra. You know what? Let's have a wander around in Lupra, even if Samantha and Jordan's not with me. The vlog was originally supposed to be, the whole vlog almost was supposed to be with Samantha and Jordan, but because they left early, you've only seen footage of them, but it's a lot better than nothing, isn't it, now? I wonder if anyone that I know is around. I wonder if Aaron or... Kaifer or Harry Murray might be around, or I don't know. Rob, what are we going to do? I cannot believe, and seriously, I cannot believe John FM Jack would do that to us after everything we did for him. John FM decided to fire us and replace me and you for that blow called Ration Canton. Ration isn't even a real name. No, we got nowhere to live except in love, bro. I do not know what to do, Andy. Well, I am not going back into the fields where our old home used to be and I will never want to be friends with John F. and Jack ever again. We just have to adapt ourselves to live in Queen's Park for the meantime. Until we can find a new home for me and you, I do not know where to live that'll be suitable for myself and you, Rob. What about at Lewis's auntie's house where we gave Lewis Teagles a message based on Henrietta Bigel? He could be there. Well, not really, Rob, as Lewis does not live there and his auntie and uncle will become suspicious about us living there. What about at Lewis's house? We do not. Wait a minute. I do know how to get to Lewis's house as I kidnapped Daniel Dickinson months ago for John F. and Jack. But bear in mind, Rob, Lewis knows who we are and will ring the police if he finds us in his home. We'll just stay in Queen's Park for the meantime until we can find somewhere properly to live. Is police a sexy robot? I wonder if she's chubbier than Henrietta Biggle. Henrietta Biggle now. Andy and Rob told me when I was at my auntie's that Jonathan Jack has kidnapped Henrietta. Or was it somebody else? Do you know? I've looked in the spare and see if Daniel is there and he isn't. Well, I really don't have much to say, really. I've seen Samantha and Jordan earlier. My birthday presents from them are... I put them just probably underneath my fridge, but not exactly underneath. 
Uh, it's such a nice day. Uh, there's a heat wave coming very soon. No, I don't really have anything to say to you lot. I know I'm sounding boring, but I just don't. The only main story I have in myself is Henrietta Bagel because she's disappeared. I wonder if Jonathan Jack has finally got his spaceship fix. I really don't know. Hmm. Maybe while I'm trying to find a way of how to find Jonathan Jack's spaceship. How about you go and see what everyone else is up to? Because I don't really have a lot to say, really. Maybe in the next vlog, maybe I might find an answer about this mystery of Henrietta Biggle being kidnapped. Who took, who stolen her, and where is Jonathan Jack's spaceship? Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. No. Hmm. I'm going to write some notes down and see if I can actually find, well, estimately know where Jonathan Jackson's spaceship is. So, see you next time. Celebrations, celebrations, Italy won the Euro Football Cup. He told you Italy is better than Japan Kiao. So I am the true winner, and you are the true loser. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, shut up, you Italian immigrant. Italy did not deserve to win after that cheating, shuffling, dirty diapers rolling and Italy being racist to England. Japan will beat Italy in the World Cup of 2022 as that will be next year. I might even join Japan to beat Italy to prove to you that my country is better than yours. Oh, give it a rest, Kiao. Italy is still and always will be the champions of this year's Euro Cup. So my country will get money as England gets absolutely nothing. Ah, 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 ah. Um, excuse me, Alessandro Papakiachanao. England is where me and Olivia was born in, so you are insulting my home. And that wasn't very nice of saying England gets no money just because they've lost to Italy on 11th of July. I have to tell Paul about this and you need to learn of how to not go too far from your communication sometimes. Well, Olivia and you, life is tough sometimes. Most things you can't change and there is nothing the both of you can do mostly about. Italy won the final fair and square so don't you dare do anything harmful to my home origin, and that's how the way things are just simply are. Live and stick with it, Olivia and you. Alessandro Pipicciaceo. You need to have some time out as your behavior is getting cocky with everyone. Especially with Chiahao. Could you go outside and calm down for a few minutes for me please? Well okay Karen Bestley. He'll do it for you but nobody else. And Kiao, shut up about being jealous of Italy's final win. Italy won. End of story. Goodbye and good night. God damn it Alessandro Pipachacho is so bloody annoying. It's not fair. Italy is a place hole than any other country around the world except for England and Japan. Oh, uh, excuse me, Kiao. What about Australia where me, Karen and Matilda Perkinson came from? And the United States of America? And Canada where Paul was born. Shut up all of you. I decide what I want to choose of what I like and dislike. So if you all excuse me now, I need to take a tea break from this stupid conversation with you lot and Alessandro. Wow, Chia Howe is incredibly nasty, isn't he? Certainly he is, Olivia. I think I will go for a McDonald's after Kia deciding that my hometown is a place hall. I've never been but insulted in my life. I'll come too. Chia Howe needs to go. He's just argumentative with everyone, especially our Alessandro. I lost Paul and Matilda to see if they would want anything from McDonald's. I'll head to open my helicopter rides business to make Chia Ling proud. I wish she was here instead of Chia Hao. I really do miss Kaya Ling Heliponta. Working here has really gone downhill since Kaya Hao arrived and after Kaya Ling died not too long ago. Olivia, her, and Beth Bumblehug are my bestest friends. Kaya Hao will never earn my friendship.